Hello everybody, this is the Summer 2 Week 2 EYFS Vocabulary video and today we'll be introducing some new focus words. Our focus words this week are whisper, chat, shriek, yell, chatter, mumbo, howl, yelp, squeak and mutter. Have you ever heard any of these words before? When you pause the video, talk to your adult about when you heard them, and if you can, try to think of a definition. You might use the word in a sentence if you're not quite sure what it means. And then when you're ready, press play and we'll think about the words together. Were you able to think of any definitions? Well done if you were, and don't worry if you weren't, but perhaps you were able to use the words in a sentence. Whisper, to speak very softly using one's breath rather than throat. Yell, to shout loudly. Howl, to cry out in distress, the call a dog or wolf makes. Yelp, a short, sharp cry of pain. Chat, to talk in a friendly way. Chatter, everyday talk about unimportant things. Squeak, a short, high-pitched sound. Shriek, a high-pitched scream of fear, pain or excitement. Mumble to speak quietly so that it is difficult to hear the words, and mutter, to grumble in a quiet voice, sometimes annoyed. Did you get any of these definitions? Well done if you did. Can you think of anything that connects these words? So what is similar about these words? When might you use these words? You might want to pause the video to talk about this for longer with your adult at home. What done if you said that these words are all different ways that we can use our voices? How do we use our voices? What do you do with your voice? How do you change your voice for different times of the day? Is the voice you use in class the same as the voice that you use on the playground? Is the voice you use when you're talking to your mum and dad the same as the voice that you use with your friends? Eva mumbled her words so that no one could hear her. Is Eva using her voice in the same way as the children who muttered that's not fair when they had to stay in at playtime? How about Josh? Josh whispered a secret in Rav's ear. The children like to chat to each other as they eat lunch. When Aisha hurt her leg she yelped in pain. Was Aisha using her voice in the same way as Josh when he whispered? Why? Why not? The teacher told the children off for yelling in the corridor. If the children aren't able to yell in the corridor, how should they be using their voices? You can use the focus words in your own sentences today. So I'm going to put the focus words on the screen and I would like you to try to use all or some of them to make your own sentences. Think about the ways that you talk or your friends or your family. Think about how you use your voice. You might even be feeling really confident today and want to write down one of your sentences. If you do, we'd love to see a photograph of it on Class Dojo. Here are the focus words again for you to think about and to use in your sentence. Whisper chat, shriek, yell, chatter, mumble, howl, yelp, squeak and mutter. Adults, see how often your child can use these words over the next week. Perhaps you can encourage them to think about different ways to describe how people are talking, maybe on television, maybe the conversations that you're having with the family in the house. Well done for all your work today everybody, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.